The Memphis Grizzlies, 10.5-point favorites at home. Um, minus 5.25 on the money line. The total sits at 2.29. I'm going to play a team total angle here. The Phoenix Suns, with all due respect, been pretty stinking bad without Devin Booker and without Chris Paul, as they will be tonight. And, you know, outside of a few games where, you know, somehow against that Golden State Warriors team at home, they're the only team that could shoot. Shot over about 60% in that game. You go back to the only other game that they scored a bunch of points. Losing to Minnesota, shot about 60% from three there. So, barring any sort of aberrant performance here, I have the Phoenix Suns team total well under the 109 that I'm looking at here right now in the market. My numbers came out closer to 106.5, 107. And Memphis specifically has been really good. It's kind of similar to what we've seen in New York. Um, and a lot of these blowouts, they don't just put up a big number. They do a really great job of tying down the other team their second third lineups the guys that really fill kind of those late minutes are better defensive players than I think you'd see on most teams and I think what we'll see from Memphis here tonight is a nice big win grind out this Phoenix team and you know basically hold them down so I had it's closer to 106 and a half I'm going to play a team total under 109 here for the Suns what do you think Chris yeah I like it um that's about the only angle I would look at this game is maybe an under for the Suns or some kind of inefficiency on their end um, you know, we saw them rally against the Warriors a few games ago, but that's that's about the only spot that we saw the Suns play really well recently. Um, the only thing about this game that kind of has me, you know, second guessing having any plays on it, you know, the Suns won the last game, I believe, against the Grizzlies, so they split the series so far this season. Um, and, you know, this version of the Suns shouldn't be able to keep up with the Grizzlies, especially at home. They can be, I mean, Memphis is very explosive at home. Uh, they're, you know, explosive in most games, but especially on their on their home court. But John Moran showing up questionable. This does seem like one of those games where he could opt to sit out and the Memphis Grizzlies could still win with ease. And because that's the case, I really don't know how to handicap it because obviously it's such a big, you know, such an important part for the Memphis Grizzlies night to night. Um, so kind of a slight lean towards the Suns, uh, especially if he's out, and then you would get lucky if he is out tonight. But that's the thing, you know, and there's a question about, today's slate of games that we can get to later but martin luther king day it's an important day for the country you know the nba kind of carries the torch for that and you got to feel like a lot of these players are going to play really hard today too um thinking about all that's going on so uh, motivation might be higher than usual for a lot of these teams so i I would suspect that john moran would want to play in this situation as well and the way that these rosters are composed currently memphis shouldn't have any issue there but you know monty williams is a good coach we've seen him uh, have his team step up in some of these really tough spots. So no play for me, just a lot of competing narratives. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And again, Morant in, Morant out. I mean, if he's out, the pace will be slower. And again, we'll see even better defense from Memphis. Yeah. What do you think of this game, Ski? Yeah, I mean, the Suns so far this season without Devin Booker, they're only averaging uh, 105 points per game. Um, I didn't, I, I missed the number, but I'm assuming their team total is a little bit higher than 105. So just thinking about that, um, Suns are the worst offensive rated team in the league the last five games, and Memphis is number six defensive rated team. So I, I think they can hold them down. Um, I'd probably rock with the team total under if I'm playing this game. Yeah, makes sense to me, and that's what I'm going to do. Give me a Suns team total under 109 and a half. Let's- 